I start the book with, with uh, describing my own interest as being like a dog returning to its own vomit. And that's very much what I feel like. Okay, so Flesh and Excess as a title is kind of playing on notions of the body and shock, but it's also playing on like the references to George Bataille and so on in the book, uh, the notion of excess and the notion of the uh, heterogeneous uh, elements of which can't be contained. Uh, and that's very much kind of something that the book touches on. It's basically uh, explores my interest in a handful of uh, underground, contemporary underground films about the human body and the representation of the body in that moment where the representation exceeds what you expect and the power that has on your body. Uh, I think it's simultaneously the book locates this within a history of the underground that kind of reclaims the underground as a, a far more radical form than it has been described recently. So reclaiming it away from indie movies and cult movies and back to what I would consider you know, underground movies. <clears throat> I've always been drawn to kind of performance art and live art uh, and that relationship to underground film uh, and also the relationship between underground film and shock and the way that people get repulsed by certain images or the way that filmmakers uh, use certain images to deliberately shock people. <clears throat> My previous books uh, very much have focused on a period of time or a group of filmmakers but the idea of this book is to f focus on, an ide on ideas around flesh and the body and bodily fluids uh, and framing it through people like Desaad and Bataille and Burroughs uh, and these filmmakers in order to suggest it's uh, an ongoing thing. It's not just a movement or something I'm writing about so much as it's about ideas. A moment where safety kind of collapses, not literally, but the sense of security and certainty collapses. To me, that's what the most exciting thing is about these films around the body. And I think that the Andalusian dog with the eyeball slicing is a great moment for that, that moment of being unable to contain, you know, your intellect being unable to contain what's happening.